welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today's the day we're going to be ceramic coating our new rims. Depending on how these videos all work out, I am waiting on some new lug nuts to actually put the wheels on. So you might be seeing this video after the fact, but depending when those finally show up, we'll see. But yeah, in today's video, we're going to be ceramic coating our new rims. So I'll flip you around, show you all the stuff we're going to be using, how to do it, and hopefully you enjoy. So if you missed the last few videos, like I said, these are the new set of wheels and tires for the car. 20 inch niche Masano wheels, matte black. So we are going to be ceramic coating matte black paint today. Yes, you can do it. No, you don't need any special ceramic coating, even though some companies try to sell it as a little feature. Matte black paint is no different than ceramic coating every other paint. It may look a little shiny at first when you first put it on, but once it cures and dries properly, it will look just as it does now. So first things first, these are brand new rims, but I waited until the rubber went on just in case the guys are bumping around and making a mess out of them. So we will clean them. So I just used this wipeout spray. It's the same spray I used before I ceramic coated the car. Works awesome, gets all the gunk, oils, grime, all that stuff off. So we'll get a rag, hose them down, wipe them up, and then we can start the ceramic coating right away. All right now, like any chemical guy's stuff, this stuff goes a long ways. So you don't need to hose it down like a fire hydrant. Just a couple quick squirts on each one. Obviously these are brand new, like I said, so they are pretty clean to begin with. It's just to get off any fingerprints and grime and once they put the rubber on they use that soap or lubricant whatever it is to make sure everything goes smoothly when they're putting the rubber on so this is working good just to get all that off make sure if this happens to get super wet or anything like that these have got to be completely dry before you put the ceramic on so if you're worried wipe it down Maybe leave it half hour or whatever, let it evaporate completely before you start to put your ceramic on. Because you can see where we didn't wipe yet, if you miss a spot or anything, you're going to end up with the mist on there, little droplets here and there. And that's a big no-no when you're ceramic coating. All right, so these are all wiped down. Like I said, I'm going to let them sit for a minute just in case I miss the spot. But while we do that, I'll show you what we're going to be using. We are going back with Avalon King's Armor Shield. Same ceramic coating I used on the car. That was two and a half-ish years ago. And it still works awesome. When it rains, it all beads up. As soon as you start driving, you just get a big waterfall of water off your car. And she is basically dry. So I figured this will work awesome for the wheels as well. Good thing is, obviously it comes with a little block to put it on. This goes a long ways as well. And here they send three. They actually send three of the little microfiber cloths or felt cloth, whatever you want to call this, to apply it. If you're wondering, this is what it looks like after it's done being used and dried up. This is actually the one I used on my car. And you can see it's more like cardboard now than it is felt. So. Obviously, we are not going to be reusing this one because this is way too hard and way too rough now to be applying on something new, especially rims. But if you're curious, you can see it holds its shape because it was on the block at the time. And then this is another one that I used on my performance pack rims that are on there right now. I just did it by hand, so it ended up just being a flat sheet afterwards. But same idea, it dries up, and as you can see, a lot of people have misconceptions about applying ceramic coating. It is not like a clear coat on your paint. It dries and it will not be seen, so our rims will still be matte once we are done applying this to them. All right, now for me, I do daily my car. I'm not expecting these to stay mint condition. Obviously, they're gonna get little dings here and there. But this will help, so I know it's hard to see on here, but put a decent amount of drops right down the center of your sponge, and then it's as easy as just rubbing it on. 
So come down here, pick a spot, and just start going back and forth. You can see, you can tell where I put it and where I have not. So do about, I'd say a quarter of the wheel at a time. Make sure you get some decent coverage everywhere, top and bottom. And this goes, I know this video is for matte paint, but this goes for your average paint as well. Just go up and down, use the block to get as much spots as you can. And you'll start to feel, and here, you can see how it sounds like it's rubbing now. It means that you have used up the ceramic that you put on here. So reload it, go again, all the way around. Make sure you get in the little crevices everywhere. Like I said, I'm daily in this. I'm not going to be too, too picky. But as long as I got the bulk of it, at least when it comes to washing time, it should be much easier. All right, so we're just working two wheels at a time. Basically, you don't want to wait too long, depending on your heat. Luckily here, we're not super hot. We're still in winter, so it's actually kind of chilly in here. So I'm going to wait about five minutes. If you're in the right light, you should see that it starts to kind of get a rainbow effect to it. That's what you're looking for. It's when it starts to flash. And then take your black cloth and just very lightly, not very much pressure, just the weight of your hand, wipe it off. That'll smooth out any high spots you had and get rid of that haze. But we're just doing two at a time. Keep in mind, obviously, if you're in a very hot environment, you got to be careful because this stuff will almost dry as quick as you can put it on. So if you are living somewhere in a hot environment, maybe wait for the night or coming in a garage, maybe where it's somewhat air conditioned or something like that. But for me, cool day, I'm just going to do two at a time. I'm doing the inside first because for visual reasons, I want to lay the tires flat. Obviously, lights on the ceiling. The more light you can get, the better it is to see high spots and stuff like that as you go along. And then other thing to keep in mind, I'll show you on these, is because it's a matte paint, you're not obviously completely smooth. There is a little bit of texture on there. So when you're wiping on the ceramic off of your little pad there, it's gonna eat up a lot more than you think. So that's what I said, you kind of got to feel it when you start to put it on initially. It's nice and smooth, and then it'll kind of start to sound like you're rubbing on a piece of paper or something. And that is when you know you got to add a little bit more ceramic to it. And also just use your eyes. When you're wiping it on there, you can clearly see a line where you have put the ceramic and where you haven't. So all this stuff you got to keep in the back of your head as you're going through here. Because like I said, you don't want this stuff drying before you get a chance to wipe it. Otherwise, your high spots will be there forever. And you might not see it in, say, a garage like this. But as soon as you roll these out into the sun, where it's nice and warm, a lot of light on them, you're going to see high spots right away. So just keep in mind, stay on top of what you're doing, and you shouldn't have any issues at all. All right, so the two rears are done. I got the two fronts going right here. Like I said... I let it sit for five, six minutes roughly, and you probably can't see it in the camera because black paint is hard to pick it up, but it is starting to flash just a bit, which means it is time to give it a wipe. Now, when you do this, very little pressure, and if it feels like it's slimy, like it's kind of pulling the cloth as you go, leave it a few more minutes. It's not quite ready, and you're pulling it actually off of the rim itself, not the extra. You want it to be smooth like butter when you're wiping. And all you gotta do is wipe. Just the pressure of your hand, like I said, get around all the little knobs and anything that might be on here. I know these are filled with weights. So make sure you get around all those areas little nooks and crannies, especially when you get to the front of the wheel with the spokes and everything. You don't want to leave high spots anywhere. So just nice and light, no pressure at all, just the weight of my hand. And you can hear it's not pulling anything. It is just wiping. 
and you don't want to go crazy. Don't stick around in one spot too long because you will actually wipe it right off. But all the way around, like I said, and let her sit for a few minutes and then we will flip them over and start on the front. All right, and on to the fronts, just for a little comparison as well. A good way to check, you can see this, I just freshly put the ceramic on and the little niche center cap there is pretty dark. You come over here, this one is already ceramic coated. It is dried and wiped off and you can see matte center cap is back. So when you put it on and you see this and go, oh my God, it's going to be shiny. Like I said, leave it for a few minutes, wipe her down and you are back in business. Okay. So working on the top of the rims now, or the front, I should say, face of the rims. What you want to do, you're going to obviously have to get a little creative here. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty because you got to get in all the little nooks and crannies. Whereas your pad here, is only going to be able to really do the surface of things. So the box does come with gloves, but they're little girl gloves. They don't fit on man hands. So if you want gloves, go find a little cheap pair of gloves so you don't get the coating all over your hands. Or if you're like me and don't really care, have at her. So get your pad ready, load her up. You want to put quite a bit on this one because like I said, halfway through, you're going to have to switch to your hands. So you want this cloth to have plenty left on there and just soak her on. Now that you guys have the light, you can really see easy to tell where you've been and where you haven't, but I still like to start with where the stem is there. It just gives you a rough idea of what you've touched and what you haven't. So just go around, get everything, get your center cap. I know I have a golden retriever. As you can see, watch out for that kind of stuff. Just pick it off. Try not to get too much fingerprints on there. And then just grab your pad and carry on. Get all the top surfaces that you can. What I do, back and forth, just go across all of them on the top. Go around the rim so you get the lip. Don't worry about getting the stuff on the rubber, not going to really hurt anything. And now I just do one more in and out where your lug nuts will be. Then, like I said, flip that upside down because you don't want anything sharp to be on the pad. Switch over to your hand and then you can get into all the little nooks and crannies as well as the first little lip. I don't know if you guys can really see it, the line here. When I did the back, I only did the, the uh, thick flat surfaces. So I also have to get that. So same thing, work your way around. Like I said, put lots on top when you start. So then as you go around and you kind of work over everything, if you happen to wipe too much up here, say like that, you're not wiping it off, you're just spreading it out more than it already is. Get in all the corners, back and forth, and just keep working your way around. Good thing with the coating, like I said, if you miss any parts, it will look dry compared to the rest. You can see as I wipe that, it looks wet, which means we still have enough coating on the little applicator here. And we'll just keep working our way all the way around. In and out. It's really hard to mess this up. I know a lot of people probably are hesitant to do it because they don't want to screw up their paint or whatever they're happy to put this on. But if you take your time, it's very hard to really screw this up. The biggest part, like I mentioned earlier in the video, is when it dries you do not want it to dry with high spots. So that would be the biggest thing of this whole process. Just make sure before it's completely dry that you are wiping it to get the high spots off. And you'll see once I start wiping this down in a minute, it's really easy to see how it 
wipes it down now that we got this thing laying flat in the light. So that should do for the coating. So we'll wait another five, six, seven minutes roughly, and I'll show you what it looks like as we wipe her down. All right, so it's been about five, maybe six minutes since I put the coating on, and you can really tell by the center cap there how it starts to kind of fade. It's not so dark anymore. That's how you know it's time to wipe this stuff off. So same idea, grab your cloth very, very lightly. Just start wiping, go around, because there is a little lip on the center cap there. Make sure you get in there well. And then just wipe away like you did on the back of the rim. And it'll get all your high spots off, make everything look nice and smooth. Go around the edges. And same thing, you're just kind of using the weight of the cloth. Don't push too hard or anything like that. And then same idea with putting it on. Start around the valve stem so you know which one you've been touching and which ones you haven't. Just get in, try to get in all the crevices that you can. It's not so, so bad if you miss a spot right in the corner because you won't see it as bad as if it's on the face of the rim. But the more you can get this stuff smoothed out, the better it will perform, the less likely it is to hang on to stuff. And overall, it'll just look like you're more professional than any of us really are. But that is that. All you need to know for ceramics or ceramic coating your matte rims is just take your time. Don't let it harden on there and make sure everything is super clean before you start and you should be set. And there you have it guys. That's all you need to know. I know a lot of the places out there, they start to sell stuff for matte this, matte that. Ceramic coating is not a clear coat. Put it on, take your time, make sure it doesn't dry. Like I said, five, six minutes if it's cooler. If it's warmer, maybe only two or three minutes, you gotta start wiping her off. So don't rush it, just take your time. Do one wheel at a time, or if you're doing your car by chance, maybe you have matte black wrap or something like that. Same idea, just work panel to panel, little sections at a time, don't overdo it, and just pay attention to the drying time. That's the biggest part. And you should look just as good as before the ceramic coating went on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you out, leave a thumbs up and subscribe, share the video. And hopefully we catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.